Hey, it's Tim here. I wanted to ask you a question. How should the Tableau release features? Should they release them when they are feature complete or should they release them in bits as they have been doing for the last few years until they get to a point where the feature is more robust? My response to this might be a little bit unpopular. To get into that, let's get stuck in. Now to go through this, I'm gonna show you the Tableau release navigator. It's actually the best single place to find out everything new in Tableau as a link to resources in terms of documentation, but also just as a list. It's everything is here that I can think of. Um, it sometimes has a bit of lag. Uh, they're sort of a little bit slow to update it, but nonetheless, I think it's an honest reflection of what's actually going on with features. Um, one of the nice things you can do is you can choose a product, you can uh, filter uh, based on the version. And I've actually done a video showing you all of this capability already. Um, you can enable and disable different add-ons and you can even see the different names to them as they've changed over time. And you can also see features that have been changed, de deprecated, new or retired. So you can actually just go and get a laser focus view on things that are changing in your platform, but you might not be aware of. Anyway, how are we gonna use this? Well, I want to come in here and search for a specific feature and we're gonna to see the history of that feature. So let's go ahead and type in virtual connections. Uh, this has been a area that Tableau have been uh, updating over time. And you can see sort of my point. Um, if we actually go back, we can see that the first set of um, capabilities really go all the way back to, let's say, 2022.1. Um, so they've been adding new virtual connectors support as we've been going on. What I might do is just remove my phrase because I think I just need to say virtual. Um, and if I say connections, which is the terminology they've used, I might get a better representative. Yeah, there we go. That's a little bit better. I get a few more hits. So it's a little, little bit of a reflection of, of what's going on. So you can see here clearly that de de depending on the product, you've got lots of versions spanning lots of different times. And so my general point here is this. Um, should Tableau, in the case of Tableau Cloud, um, really have not released anything for uh, virtual connections until we got to, let's say, June 2023, when uh, virtual connector support for a whole bunch of additional uh, connectors came in, came in. I think in 23.3, they're saying that all the connectors are going to be available. Or is it actually good that we got the features uh, sort of over time and as of those features have sort of been brought in, we've been able to build up uh, an understanding of how the feature works and, and how it all sets in. And if you look at this sort of duration, you can say that it's broadly over the space of a year and a half, um, virtual connections have started to become a, a much bigger deal and they actually go back a little bit further. I think because this data source is not thorough enough, it's not actually going back to 2022.1, which is when these actually initially started to come in. You We've even got some from 21.4 uh, where you could use virtual connections in your flow. So the feature set goes back and forth. This is a little bit tainted, but you get my point. Those features are sporadic over time. And if you're on Tableau server, obviously you get them every other release. That was a change that Tableau also made in the past. And so here's my point and general sort of issue with this. This is great because I think it means that if you're building something and the specific feature helps you in your specific setup, then you can actually sort of get a capability that adds enhancements to whatever solution you're trying to build. The problem though, and this is my theory, shoot me down if I'm wrong, I think businesses don't update as fast as Tableau's own release cadence. You see, in reality, if you're using Tableau Server, which is one group of customers, you upgrade server probably once a year to a net new version. By that, I mean you're going from, let's say, 23.1 to 23.4, maybe. And that might be your sort of jump. But the patches in between, those get fixed. So you want to do patches because those fix uh, problems and bugs inside of your software. But in reality, between those versions, what ends up happening is whatever you had to start with is what you sort of use to form your business practice. That's what you do to train teams. If you're running a server with any sort of decent scale, then you're going to also have to communicate these changes, figure out best practices, test them, make sure they're rigorously, um, uh, you know, gone through all the checks that you'd have to do inside of your own business. And of course, Tableau is not the only tool. Tableau then interfaces with other tools and you have to figure out all the kinks that are related to that. By the time you go through that whole process, I think easily four to five months rolls by and then you get to sort of halfway through your release cycle and you're already thinking about the next release and then that release comes around and so if one of these features isn't sort of doing exactly what you want it to do it ends up sort of just missing that release cycle altogether and then what ends up happening is you actually wait until the next major release until it gets to a point where you can actually use it then that's when people really sort of get involved and um, if I go look at another set of features if I uh, look at something let's look at something like ask data 
uh, which has had a lot of sort of energy and emphasis over time. This is actually a great example because you can see here in desktop, at least, it's been going on for some time. I mean, I, I can't even, I have to move my um, um, sort of mouse and cursor out the way here. So if I just uh, scroll down here, you can see that Ask Data just had a ton of trickle, trickle, trickle uh, uh, sort of sets of features all the way through. So it's really desktop and server uh, in this particular case. I don't know where the cloud information has gone from this data set. It just seems to be a miss. But I think the story is fairly accurate here for desktop. So we start in 2019 and we go all the way to, is this even in chronological 2021.4? 20, that doesn't seem right. Um, it definitely goes on a lot more recently because our state has also had enhancement more recently as well. I can definitely tell you that. Um, here we go, 22.3, our state lenses appear in lineage. So the features sort of been growing up over time, but what would have happened here is that you wouldn't have been able to really kind of deploy this and be happy um, and get sort of comfortable up until a certain point. And I can't say what that is for, for Ask Data, but I, I guarantee you that when Ask Data lenses came about, a lot of people who were using Ask Data, if anyone was using it, um, had to sort of change their whole workflow and get that all set up. And again, if you're building practices around this stuff, it just takes you time and releases. And you might be waiting on some of these enhancements that come later on to sort of come about. If we go and look at something like the data model, um, not many uh, items in here. You can see here, you can swap the root table and it doesn't go back far enough to sort of give us the full picture. Um, and everything here is a net new feature. But if we if we just look at that as a sort of feature set, it's interesting because data model I think uh, got released over maybe two years and sort of all the big updates and there's still some things that we've seen at conference that are yet to come. Um, should something like that have come about maybe in year long sort of uh, phases? So in year one you get a big bunch of features, then in year two you get another set of features, or is it actually good that every quarter we're getting some sort of enhancement? And so my 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 opinion that I think is slightly unpopular is I think. Tableau's gotten to the scale and size as a piece of software where it just needs to launch feature complete features. Actually, I think more damage is done when the features are released and they're not quite hitting the mark and there's some sort of additional tweak or additional perk. And that perk or tweak has to make it through the whole development cycle um, to sort of make it through into software. And by then, businesses have moved on, they found new ways of working, or it's no longer sort of a timely thing for them to investigate. Also, I think if you think about this, um, if Tableau release features that are more feature complete, what it actually means is that when those features come out, there's more of a bigger deal around that thing. I used to remember way back when, I've actually been doing some research about the 20 years of Tableau, and I've got some really amazing content, some old release documentation from all the way back to version number one. And what's fascinating is looking back over those releases, going even as far back as let's say 2020, the releases really had big deal features in there, features that were sort of statement features. The, the releases used to go by um, specifically one or two features. And now it just feels like there's, there's lots of small things, but there's no real sort of big hitters, I like to call them, things that really get people excited. Instead, you have these general sort of movements and directions and they're sort of themes rather than specific things that people are excited about. So I think what that does is also means there's less excitement around the features. And so, I don't know, what do you think? Should Tableau release features when they are done? Should they release them in bigger chunks? Or should they release them as they are every single quarter when they have something ready, ship them straight away? That's what I wanna know from you. Let me know in the comments below and I'll catch you in the next one.